and welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Sorry, that was me attempting to put um, my microphone in the can of zero calorie cherry lime naturally flavored bullshit um, sparkly water, <laughs> and it just got wet. So, uh, anyway, yeah, I'm here. I'm here a little late. I had um, had a bit busy long day, but you know I'm here, and uh, we're gonna do Luigi's Mansion followed by an hour of Dragon Quest XI, but it's going to be very spoilery. So, you know, you probably don't want to watch that if you've never played the game. I'm serious, by the way, don't. But we're going to do Luigi. Where's V-Dub? I don't know. I, I saw him walk away into the sunset. As he walked away, his ass crack prominent. I guess he'll be back. Wait, wait, was I watching him go into the sunset or was I watching the moon? I don't know. But regardless, no, this is, uh, he, he, he walked away and he disappeared out of my life yet again. But welcome to the stream, everybody. Did he knock your green screen over again? You know, I'll tell you something. That green screen, I usually have to put it away. And I usually struggle to put that stupid thing away. Last night, I got it in one go. Vine Leitman. Good Beardman. Crust Bungman. Uh, is this the circle one you have to twist? Yeah, you have to do a weird twist. Where did you put Counselor Troy? Oh, in, in the Spank Bank. Along with Riker and Worf. Hey, speaking of... Luigi, why are you moving on your own? Chat, how do I stop this? Is it Joy-Con drift or? Because this is this is the Pro Controller that's drifting. Uh oh. Hang on a minute. Speaking of Star Trek, apparently there is a way to um, stream it with all of you. Not now. You have to like sign up for a beta. Um, I'll tell you about it eventually, but first of all, how do I do this? How do I... Pro controllers can drift too? Um... It's in settings. Okay. Vinny, it's not drifting. Okay. Well, you, you opened it up. But Luigi keeps going that way on his own. All right, let's try this a bit, and then and then we'll see. No longer tied down. Don't hold the stick when it connects. You don't hold your own dipstick. I won't. I think I might have by accident. So I went to the Death Stranding pop-up store in New York City. I was there. I went and got some macaroni and cheese. And I did some, uh, I, I just enjoyed the day. And then I said, you know what? Let me go over there and let me see what the hell's going on. I got macaroni and cheese with sausage and like um, mozzarella. It was amazing. But I have pictures. I'll show you next time I stream Death Stranding, um, which I will do. I want to give it at least one or two more good streams before I give up on it, maybe. Well, it was cheddar and mozzarella. It was really good. 
surprisingly good. And breadcrumbs. Alright, so yeah, I went over there. It's on the west side. Today was the last day. Kojima was not there. Sadly. Oh wait, this is the dinosaur wing. Oh, there's a boo here. And, um, I went, I, I, they gave me a free poster, and I got to, you know, see the art, and like a, a full Norman Reedus. Yeah, Kojima's already back in Japan. Um, I wanted to just complain. I wanted to see Kojima and just be like, hey dude, can you, um... Can you put the shooting back in my game? Boons, you're about to be extinct. Vinny, did you see that Kojima compared himself to Hitchcock? Oh god. I don't even... Don't even. Don't even tell me that. I mean, I like him. Again, I, I'm giving him a little bit of shit lately, but I do like the guy. But anyway, I did go to his pop-up store, and I, I did, um, I got a free poster, and I got a little, you know, his logo dude? I think it's, it's called the Ludum. Ludens. It's not a Ludum. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was fine. It was worth the journey. I was in the city already, so why not? And, like I said, I'll put together all the pictures, and I'll make sure to show you next time, but... It was uh, small. There wasn't a lot to it. I actually heard one dude say, and people are actually expecting this game to be fun. Like, it's a story. It doesn't have to be fun. People want video games to be fun. Like, you know, while we were waiting... He was complaining that people expected video games to be fun, and how that was a very, very silly thing to want. So... That's the power of Kojima. Where that is now a very, um... Acceptable viewpoint. Fun means something different to everyone. Yeah, it does, but the dude was straight up saying the game wasn't fun, and that was fine. Why are people expecting the game to be fun? So, it was a weird day. Let's just call it that. It was a very strange day. Um, there was the handprints. There was, like, a signature from Cro Cro uh, Cronin. Cronin O'Brien. I get how this works now. I have to get closer to these until it goes mental, and then I... This is the one right here. Love that smoke effect. Yeah. Vinny, there's a Luden's duck on Kojima's Pro Store. That was what I was going to buy. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm a little lukewarm to Death Stranding. V-Dub loved it, weirdly enough. 
Um, I think it's uh, interesting. I'm gonna need a little more, but I I like Kojima because Metal Gear is just in, an indelible part of my my life. And I went to the thing, and I was happy to be there. And I got a picture with Hot Coldman. Oh wait, no, uh, Dead Manman. And uh, I got a, cu a couple good pictures. But yeah, I mean, I wanted that duck. There was a Luden's duck that they didn't have. It was sold out. So I ended up getting the little minifigure, which was like, I think it was like 12 bucks. And it's nice. I feel... as empty as I did when I bought it. Feels Badman. Exactly, that's the guy's name. That's a Kojima character right there. Were they selling Monster Energy? As far as I could see, there was nothing Monster Energy related. I would have taken a picture of it. All right there. Time for some shit kicking good times. Fuji. In real life, whenever I see, um, like a fence or a railing, I think lately I've been like, oh man, I should get Guiji to go through that. <laughs> I love the banjo so much. Vinny, on a personal level, what do you think Guiji tastes like? I thought, like, sour apple, but apparently it tastes like coffee. Vinny, do you think it's weird that people are shitting on Death Stranding and Kojima when he has actually managed to make a genuinely unique game that isn't just shoot men's a whole bunch and level your crafting skills? Um, see, now we're getting into loaded question territory and opinions. And I think that people, if they're not enjoying the game, they're not enjoying the game. If... If I set out to make a truck, and I made a duck instead... Well, I set out to make a truck, and some people might be okay with the duck. But not everybody will want that. That was a terrible analogy, but <laughs> the point is, I think it's up to the, the individual player to determine whether or not that's something that means anything to them. Vinny, I mean more in the sense of people just calling it a walking sim or whatever. Well, a, a unique genre, a unique game doesn't mean necessarily that it's going to be everybody's cup of tea. Not everybody plays every genre. I found the game from my limited playtime with it um, not compelling enough to really draw me in. So... Uh-oh. So, you know, I'm gonna need to check it out a little bit more than that. Someone said, that's true, chat seems to dislike Slay the Spire, but I love it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's cool that he, he managed to try something different. I give him credit for that, I'm absolutely... Um, all in support of someone attempting something new. But I still have to want to, like, boot up the game. If I'm not getting much motivation to boot up the video game and play it, and I'd rather watch someone on, play on YouTube play it, that's not a good sign. And, you know, I know I'm that guy for some of you.
And uh, I'd like to offer my condolences <laughs> if, if I'm not going to stream the whole thing. But, I mean, it's the same for Dragon Quest XI. A lot of people want to see me stream the whole thing. And here I am popping in 20 hours in and then 43 hours in or so. And it's like, shit. Vinny, Twitch chat or YouTube comment section? Well, that's just people. Either or. There we go. Vinny, do you plan on streaming any Kirby games in the near future? How many... Uh, if... You could always tweet questions to me. Well, that's not gonna work anyway. I guess you just have to get lucky. Alright, um... Do I plan on playing any more Kirby... ...games in the future? I'd say eventually, sure. No plans at the moment. Air Ride? One day I'd like to check out Air Ride. Vin, if we want to watch bad game, we watch less attractive streamers like V-Dub. Now, that's the first time I've heard that I'm less attractive than V-Dub. Usually people are like, Vinny, why is V-Dub so much better looking than you? You get brownie points for that one. Thank you. B-Dub's just, uh... It's funny, because yesterday... You know, he was acting... A, uh, I was told he was acting like a thought. I wasn't around for that. And, you know, Twitch actually complained. There was a complaint from Twitch yesterday because of something that happened. And, you know, V-Dub wanted to have a whiteboard that he could use to, to check off chat members that were good little boys and girls in his book. So, Twitch complained because they wanted more ass crack. Because the sub shot way the fuck up when that happened, and they were like, w w What are you doing? We need more of this. It's the power. You know, it's this, this just, it's a power that's... One has to only behold. To behold. Vinny, are you actually being serious? No! V-Dub is totally a real person. Of course he's real. Oh, I get it. That's no, that's not what I have to do here. Do I have to... I don't know what the hell's going on here. Oh, oh, okay, hang on a minute. I have tools. They're tools, Luigi. They're tools. Never mind. Bye bye. I I've given up in that room. But yeah, Twitch is uh, implementing something called, like, viewing parties. And if I wanted to, if I got in that, I could stream the entirety of Star Trek The Next Generation on this channel. The caveat... ...is that you have to, um... ...have, uh, Amazon Prime to view it. And I have to have Amazon Prime to stream it. So, it's the caveat. It's not the worst caveat. It's at least something... It's not... It's a little weird. I mean, listen, it's either that... 
or no stream of Star Trek. So I might give it a shot, but I don't I don't know. I'm not sure about it yet. We'll see. It's just an interesting thing that they're implementing. It's not just Star Trek. It's a bunch of movies and other TV shows. Um, could be a good idea. Because it's through Prime Video. Oh, wow, I really didn't see that, huh? I blinded the fuck out of that. Unbelievable. You can't use voice with it? Kraken said it only streams the movie or show, so you can't talk over it. Well, on some level, that's alright by me, because I don't necessarily want to talk over Star Trek. I want Captain Picard to talk, because nothing I say could ever be as good as that. <laughs> that was really cheesy, but it's true. I mean, I don't, I don't think I would be missing much. If, um, or, nor would you be missing much. I kind of wish just anyone could view it, and not just Amazon Prime. But, it's something to consider for the future, maybe. Spinny, then what's the point? Just watch TV by yourself, then. Have you not watched a movie or a TV show with a chat? It's kind of fun. It's nice when people react to something. Like, when I showed the movie Existence, and there was, like, disgusting meat creatures and, like, back holes. Um, it was quite enjoyable to see people's reactions to that movie for the very first time. Vinny, then get everyone a Prime subscription. Vinny, I find chat annoying and distracting, personally. Um, I've seen the JoJo and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon showings on Twitch. Well, what about if it's a smaller chat... chat member who's in chat? I mean, but that's the point, then you could just watch it on your own, you know? I mean, this is, uh, you know, it's not even worth talking about anymore. It seemed like a nice idea for a couple minutes. Vinny, will you stream the new Star Wars game? I don't know. I wish for a moment, like, all these games were spread out over the year. I'm- I'm really waiting on that one. In the same way that... Death Stranding was like a super, super hype machine just because it was gonna be weird in Kojima. And then I saw gameplay, and I'm like, uh, I'm not so sure. I don't even know what the fuck Jedi Fallen Order is. And I don't want to hype it up. Because, on one hand, I really do want a good Star Wars game, as I said the other night. Like, I miss good Star Wars games. I just don't know if this is going to be that. Vinny, do you ever get wrist pain while playing video game? Not really. I had a thumb problem last year when I was playing Red Dead Redemption 2. And I, I blame the amount that you click in the stick and how it's positioned in a weird way compared to the other controllers that I like. Um, Kid Icarus is the... yeah, Kid Icarus, never mind. Yes. killed him. Oh, 
good puppy. Very good puppy. You've gotten yourself into a real mess there, Luigi. Good news, though, the Poltergust G00 has been tested in depths up to... Ah, I forget. Really deep. What's important is that it's waterproof. But because that ghost used the switch to control the water levels, your path is blocked. I think you could walk along the sewer walk waterway and reach the switch. Give it a try. You've gotta return this water to its original levels to get after that ghost! Man, Luigi is like a role model. When you hear lyrics about, like, getting paper... ...in songs, Luigi is getting the paper. I just can't for the life of me figure out why people need paper so much. Let me tell you about the paper. He, he's trying to crowdfund a good Paper Mario game. Fucking burn. But in all seriousness, next level should take on Paper Mario. I said it last time. I think it will be a, a good challenge for them. They're a good developer. They can do a number of different things. I don't know if they can handle Paper Mario, but Nintendo isn't handling Paper Mario properly or whoever the fuck they're giving it to, so why not? I wouldn't mind seeing them... a couple other franchises. Like, I think they could do Kid Icarus. You need a strong direction for Kid Icarus. So, Sakurai was, like, a, a perfect choice for that, but I think they could probably handle it. Hell, I think Yoshi and Kirby. Well, not so much Kirby. Hal does Kirby, but yeah. Give Platinum Paper Mario? What? Uh... Was- someone in chat said, what do you think about a Paper Luigi game? I think that would be nice. Mr. L would make a cameo appearance. <laughs> I like this duck. Oh, fuck! Intelligent Systems is still with Paper Mario. You're thinking Alpha Dream in the Mario and Luigi series that's open for another developer. I say take it away from Intelligent Systems and give it to... <laughs> give it to someone else. Or at least don't tell Miyamoto that you're making a Paper Mario game and just make the one you want. I have, listen, I have reverence for the Kojimas, Sakurais, and, and Miyamotos of the world. I, I love these people very much. Dearly. But, you know, even Led Zeppelin made a bad album. Hmm. He made, he made one. That's right, Led Zeppelin made a bad album. He did.
Vinny Led Zepp plagiarized six to seven songs. I, I am aware of that. There, there's another thing right there. That's true. The, I, that should not invalidate the songs that they, you know, that they wrote or made their own in a way that, you know, has changed people's lives and improved them and such and such and such. We can go on and on about this. But, yes, they did some shitty things, Led Zeppelin, but they also made some amazing songs. But a lot of the songs that they, you know, plagiarized were plagiarized over and over and over again. I'm not defending it. It's bad. Don't plagiarize, kids. But it was like blues standards that kept getting re-released, 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 and eventually... You know, Zeppelin did go to court over it, so they got their due. They had to deal with some fallout from that shit. And they should, too. They absolutely should. They shouldn't get away with that. If they did plagiarize, and in a court of law, if it's like, Oh, this is the song. Then those people and their family should get money for that. And they should get credit on the album. Not use Zeppelin 666 in chat. Don't worry. That said, Led Zeppelin also wrote 10 Years Gone. And that's not a song that they took from anybody else. And I think that's one of the best songs ever written. I'm a little biased. I love it. But anyway. And Kashmir. And In My Time of Dying. Well, not really that one. Never mind. In the Light. Misty Mountain Hop. Oh, fuck, man. I don't want this to just turn into me creaming over Led Zeppelin. Um, Melon did a Led Zeppelin best to worst, I believe, or tier list. And I liked his list, even though one of those albums I would have put, like, lower. Also, sometimes, and I don't think this is the case for Led Zeppelin. <laughs> But sometimes when you're writing music, you don't know every song that has gone before. And you just write a thing, you know, and you're doing three chords, four chords, and it's like, oh, she oops, we ran out of chords. And then sometimes the song is just similar to someone else's song. I'll give you an example. Do you remember Danny California from the Red Hot Chili Peppers? See the London deer to Mississippi, I'm a going down, down about a bitty. Right, that song? That's, um... People say that it's it's American Girl from Tom Petty. Same riff. And it absolutely is. They totally ripped that off. But did you know that Tom Petty ripped off American Girl from another band? I forget the name of the band, but they were on tour together. So there's a very good chance that Tom Petty heard that song. And, um, it just got stuck in his brain. Because why would he need to rip off one song? The dude had a career that spanned three decades. You know, at that point, why... Ooh, why bother plagiarizing? Why risk your career? So, I, it was... I think it was an accident. Um, but then the Chili Peppers made Danny California, and there was a big to-do about that. Difference is, Tom Petty was like, I don't care, man, I'm not gonna press charges. I'm not gonna take this one to court, man. And the reason he didn't is because he said, well, that's just called being inspired. There's only so much music. It's like the building blocks of music. Sorry, I don't know how this turned into this conversation, but... You know, I am live almost like 30 hours a week, so I don't, I don't mind having... extended conversations about... random topics. There we go. Go ahead, Goichi. Do your business. Take your piss. Oh, shit. It's a whole lot of puzzle solving here. What about your blues, Vinny? That song has some good drums to it, huh? Yeah, there was a song we wrote, I played on. You know the song from the White Album called Year Blues? I really like that one.
Doc Jackal is apologizing for earlier. I don't- what, what does he have to apologize for? He could have gotten away with it, I don't even remember. Defending Death Stranding. That's fine, you can defend it as much as he wants. <laughs> as long as he doesn't mind getting banned, correct. The fuck? <laughs> Vinny, is Death Stranding the new Mighty Number no. 9? No. Only like three people would defend Mighty Number no. 9. What is going on up there? Oh, oh, it's it's uh it's like a web. Is there a guy named Dick Webb? Or am I making that up? There's there's definitely someone named Dick Webb. Does he work on movies? I swear I've heard that name. Oh. I, I think I understand now. Sorry, that that's uh you just witnessed sh streamer's curse. My attention was divided. And I could not give the game the attention it deserved. Those were spikes. I mean, Luigi looks like he's enjoying himself until he goes into the spikes. Vinny, DS is the new No Man's Sky. Most people wouldn't like it, but it's adamantly defended uh, by a niche following. We got some hot takes today. I think it's got more mainstream appeal. And I think... Um... Yeah, I... Uh, it's interesting. This discussion is going to get old soon, but for now I'm still reveling in it. Um... But the truth is, yeah, I don't know. I, maybe. I think No Man's Sky was, like, totally shitty and broken on launch, though, and it got better. And, uh, Death Stranding is Kojima's vision. So there is a, a difference there. Where you can defend... Death Stranding by saying it is- it is a vision. Um... I think some people are genuinely just gonna like the game and have a good time with it. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. I also think a lot of people who are looking for a new PS4 game, you know, because the PS4 is a, like a massively high-selling console that has a lot of mainstream appeal. I think a lot of people that bought that system are hearing about this game like, oh, it's the last big game before the PS5. You know, this is like a big game that I need to get for my... Um... ...from my PS4. And then they're gonna get it. And, uh, I think they're gonna be- a lot of people are gonna be disappointed. Because, as V-Dub said, it is a challenging game, and it demands your attention, and it's not giving you everything you want. 
And whether or not it pays off, I have no fucking idea. But yeah, I don't think, um, that, you know, we live in a generation of, like, quick fix, instant gratification. Even the generation, quick fix, instant gratification. And I'm guilty of it, too. I think we're conditioned, almost, now, by the phone. You know? There's, like, a... ...an extreme level of, like, dopamine that you get just from, like, checking a couple web pages and social media, etc., etc. So, yeah, I mean, I, I... I get it. Which is why I'm having a little trouble with Death, Death Stranding, too. Maybe Kojima's onto something when he says, you know, we should... ...stop eating cock. And... ...build the bridges between us. This is as un-Luigi's Mansion as you can get. <laughs> what the fuck is that? This is like puzzles. This is like gyromite. Vinny has divided the chat. Well, that's your own damn fault. I'm trying to build bridges. Jeff Bridges. Did I just break the music? Vinny, what's your opinion on this game compared to the other two? I like it better so far. Boing. This is like shark movie, like Jaw. One of favorite movie, Jaw. I make shark, big, big shark movie. Frank Greg's Stero. Fran. That's not gonna help. Listen, of all the things that divide us, just remember that we love video games because they're good and they're fun. 
You know what game proves that? I, I don't mean to come across a little sarcastic. I know the tone of my voice may betray that. You know, you know what game really, really proves that video games are just meant to be silly and fun sometimes, and just take you someplace else? Luigi's Mansion 3. This game is not a disappointment. This game is great. And I'm- I'm happy it exists. I just wish the mansion was more like Luigi's Mansion 1, you know what I mean, man? I mean, it's not- it's not quite... God, it kinda sucks because, you know... There's not enough ghosts! And they all have the same pattern, and... You know who that was? Young Vinny. Age 34. That's who that was. That wasn't even Tucker, that was just me. I can, yeah, I can be a pretty big nitpicker. I definitely have my moments. It's also kind of part of my job. You know, people kind of expect that. I do tell me, you know, people tell me that they rely on my, um, my reviews <laughs> for, um, gamer information. You know, because, no, that really, I mean, people have told me that, that, you know, they'll watch my streams instead of a review because you get the full game. You'll get, like, a full two... two hours at a time. And, uh, it helps people make decisions more than, you know, a review a reviewer. Which is good, but again, as I always say, I do hope... ...you find a way to parse that information with your own personal biases and, and, uh... Wait, why do I keep doing this? And, and also... ...come to your own judgment. There we go. Go, 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 Ouija! Oh. Vinny, you're an interesting person. I wish people like you existed in real life. Thanks. I wish I was real too sometimes. <laughs> it's okay, I know what you mean. Alright, the water is back to how it was. Go back to where you came from and get after the mechanic ghost. Vinny, you're good to work out to because you're just interesting enough to pass the time, but not too interesting that you're distracting. Oh. Okay. I think that actually is a comment that I like. That's the kind of praise that I appreciate, rather than just blind... Uh... You know, you're amazing. Or blind... You- you suck! I like that. That's- that's tempered. That's a good approach. Pros and cons. It means you've thought about this. Alright, chat. In the left corner, Goose! In the right corner, Duck! Go! The fuck? Um... I don't know what's happening. Don't do this, Luigi. There's a better way. Use Guiji. He's still- You got Guiji here, don't- 
You don't need to do that anymore to the poor duck. Don't jostle the duck, Luigi. I saved you. Oh god, it's happening to Luigi too. Well, there's some jank going on here. Jenkinson's in Point Pleasant. Before I do this, there, there's definitely... Look at this. Uh, I don't know how to break these jars and stuff. Oh, okay, you gotta pop them on the gears. Well, now I just kind of feel bad. Wait, can I use this bucket? No. I want to break that wall. That, that wall looks very suspicious. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. Um, well, apparently I can't break the wall right now. Continue going that way. We go this way instead. Not even real sharks. Oh, fuck off! Fake sharkman. Hot Coldman, to me, sounds like a failed Mega Man villain. Like, just a defective robot master. Like, someone was trying to make a robot master, and they couldn't decide on if it was going to be the traditional fire or ice villain, so they just went with both. Duke Nukeman. I'm surprised they didn't use, like, a... like a generator to promote. Um... Like, make your own Hideo Kojima character. And just draw from, like, a random pool of, like, 40 different things. More like 400 different things.
Vinny, how did you see the balloon in the sewer and not make an it reference? Oh. Oh, um... I'm, I'm stupid. If the balloon was red, maybe. There was a little paper boat, too. God damn it. So awesome. That was a reverse periscope. This whole t Yo, why is this hotel ab above like an. Uh, there's like water down here. What the hell's going on? That's so weird. There's water at the bottom of the ocean. Remove water. Luigi is Professor Egad's version of Flubber. I forgot about that movie. It's weird, that's one of those movies that I remember seeing when I was a kid because it was... Everyone was talking about it, and I don't remember any of it. Didn't the flubber come out of someone's ass? That might be the only thing I remember from flubber. Yeah, you see, now that's my stupid brain. I remember shit like that, but I don't remember... ...important details of my life. I remember that flubber shot out of someone's ass. Oh my god. Did you like? Oh, no, he doesn't like! There's another paper boat. Vinny, use your head? Well, how can I get my head in there? fought one of these before. I know, I'll feed it a soccer ball. Wow. 
Vinny, remember the last time you beat this guy, what- what did you use? I don't know! That was like four days ago, man. I don't remember that far back. I only remember when Flubber was coming out of someone's ass. Let's see. I can't believe the soccer ball worked. Vinny, are there pros to dementia? Like, everything always feels new? Um, when someone calls you a poopy head on the internet, you don't remember? Thus, it didn't happen. Never happened. However, on the flip side to that, you sometimes poopy your pants. Why is there a cock emoji? Down here. Oh, that's a- that's an egg- that's a vegetable? I didn't know that. Interesting. One of the other pros is that you you forget vegetables. And you forget to be funny on your stream. Is this what was used to make Gooigi? Ah! Vinny, what do you think of meat-based based vegetables? I think it's fantastic. I think it's nice that Megan's have an alternative. What alternative do bogans have? Uh, large tarantulas. Don't you get a disease if you eat only meat? N no. Th there is a thing called a carnivore diet, and it- some people swear by it. A disease? You get the meat sweats. You get scurvy. Oh, okay. We're pirates now. So I don't have the answer for you about the meat diet. I, I thought that the carnivore diet was something that some people could do and it would work for them. So, I don't know, you'd, I, you'd probably have to, like, look it up. And, and more than just a headline from a clickbait website. Not calling you out, chat. I mean, Roger. For, you know, Roger. Classic Roger. Always looking at them clickbaits.
First of all, I should have sent myself in and not Goigi. Or regular Luigi. Which is also a really good game, regular Luigi U. Vinny, carnivore diet is unsustainable in the long run. You need to supplement it with vitamins, too. I believe that. That makes... I mean, it, again, I don't know for sure, but that makes sense. I like vitamins. I take vitamin. Vinny, it's pronounced vitamins. Vittles. Yeah. One day I'll figure that out. Is it Mario? Mario? Jousting, but stupider. Oh, I see, I see. This is... I'm not good at this. Let's try this again. Deserve that? He's not even in this battle. You fuck. I got you. I got you.
did did something just happen that I wasn't even I had nothing to do with? No, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Gooigi, can you... No. God, sorry, mate. boss fight very much enough because I suck at it. Not simply because I suck at it. I'm trying to figure out a way, like, I wonder if Goigi can throw some bombs at him. Get into the bombs, Cleet! Problem is, if I try to, like... Oh, I got him. If I try to, like, push the bombs into him... Then I go backwards into the spikes. It's a lose-lose situation. Hang on a minute. I'm good. Uh, I definitely should have, um... Taking a little bit more health. I got it. <laughs> Wrong way again. <laughs> oh God. Wrong way. Holman. Okay, well that that worked. <laughs> this is only I've only taken about 150 damage fighting this dude, but I, that worked. They're quick. Gotcha. God, that was a. I don't know. I don't listen. That was a mind fuck for me.
Yeah, that was a little weird. That was definitely a little weird. I kept trying to go in one direction and going the other direction, but I'm fine. Because now I'm going one direction. Aw, oh, shit. Fuck! Vinny, that was the hardest boss in the game, but the next one is glitchy like the plant boss. I don't know if that was the hardest boss in the game so far. More it was just, like, annoying for me to figure out which direction was forward. But... I mean, it's over now. You get a lot of health for it, at least. Yep. Integrity buttons. Gotcha. Best buttons for all the buttons. You can time slamming attack to do way more than four slams. Really? Vinny, open shower. Press A when the ghost hits the ground. Oh, open shower. Open shower, baby! Please! Need to see Bob! Thank you, there he is! I've been waiting to see him! He is a good man! He was taking shower! Shower! Nothing in the fridge. Shove it! Alright, so let's see how well we did here with the map. It seems like there's still a couple little spots. Seems there's many spots. Wait, is this... This basement really has this many levels? Dear lord. You can come back later for that stuff. Why does he make me go over the edge like that? Oh... Like I said, I had a long day. I did a lot of walking today in the city. It was cold as fuck. And then I did more walking when I was at the Death Stranding exhibit. It was like I played Death Stranding... ...today. Done my ring fit. 
Not recently. Life has been too crazy. Tomorrow I'm gonna do it, though. So today was good because I got a chance to do some physical. And I, I made sure to... Did, did what the ring fit taught me, which is to lift my legs. Really get a good breathe on. So... Yeah, I think a couple hours walking was was good, but tomorrow will we'll certainly be, uh, I'm gonna get some of that ring fit going. Like I said, I wanted to try to do it for a month and see how I feel, because I already feel better. Which isn't ring fit necessarily, it's just being active. Imagine how in shape Norman Reedus is. Oh my god. All right, so we have an Egyptian theme, which is fantastic. As you know, it's one of my primary, um... Not primary, it's... It, never mind, it's not even a secondary. It's an interest of mine. I'll say that there's even a song on, on Real Line that sounds a little... Well, I don't want to give away too much, but yeah, I, it's an interest. But I'm just wondering, are there ancient aliens here? <laughs> what the fuck? How do you know I'm Luigi? That was awesome. Oh, that's how you do the timing. That's cool. It is the prophecy, that's correct. I kind of love this hotel. Elephant? Okay. I kind of love this hotel because I would... There's so many cool floors that you could stay on. In Japan, they have, like, love hotels. With a variety of different themes. Um... I want nothing. Like, for example, there's different, uh, themes. There's, like, probably, like, an anime theme, which is most of them. <laughs> there's- there's probably, like, a sci-fi theme, medieval themes, degenerate-themed, um, love hotel rooms. Oh, man, there's so much to choose from. Monster, like Godzilla. There goes Tokyo! Go, go, Godzilla! Zilla! 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 I can't believe they made this hotel into a desert. A and you can eat the sand with your vacuum? That's amazing! Yo, this is fucking legit! Oh man, could you imagine if you had this game as a kid? How bad you do with the puzzles? <laughs> no, but it's like your imagination just gets set on fire. And then you kind of die from it because it's like your imagination's too fired up. But I would have loved this. I mean, just playing the desert levels in Mario 2 was enough to make me want to... ...be an explorer. This makes me want to go to a museum. Nah. 
someone just said kids have it too good these days. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the response was coming. I knew what the chat was going to say. Oh my god. You can even, like, deform the sand by blowing into it. What is this wizardry that Next Level Games has discovered? That's so- that is so fucking cool. It's not like it's the first time I've ever seen this in a video game. It's just cool here. It's just- and it's- it looks nice. I just want to soak this all in, so I'm- I'm taking my time here. Is that a magic lamp? Is there a genie in here? I guess one of the wishes is granted. Three wishes? Yep, there's three. Almost five. Man, that Charles Martin really does a good job at, at selling a variety of wacky emotions. Oh, shit. Some kind of ancient creature. Snack. It's like a large rattlesnake. Except... It's missing... some stuff. It's kind of nice to go through a floor like this after an intensely puzzle-oriented floor. In, uh, B2. I feel like the game definitely knows its pacing. Japes. Get out of here, blue ball!
I hear you. No. Ocarina of Time is 21 years old this month. Jesus. Can fucking drink. Link can drink. That would make Link, if, if we're going by young Link, that would make young Link 31 years old. Still younger than me. Okay, shoot the boo ball at the top of the pyramid. It's going to occur off screen. It's gone. Oh, there it is. Vinny, please remove all the sand. It's giving me Ajita. I, I guarantee you someone has removed all the sand in here. Except, wait a minute. Are these... <coughs> are these sand spewers? I say, acting as if that is a real thing that people know. Limes did it? Did Limes get an achievement for that? Or anything like that? Or no? Damn it. But this wall reminds me of the Truman Show. The end of the movie, specifically. I kind of want to know what happened to Truman and that world. That would be a good sequel. Like, after Truman you know, gets out. We get to see what happens to him. He becomes an activist. And the world is just reality TV like we have in real life. But only, like, on a hyper, like, next level basis. Where there's just, like, hundreds of people in their own little bubbles. And they're all, like, you know, there's, like, a, like, Hundreds of different reality TV channels of different Truman. And Truman has to, like, get in there with a team of, like, super special forces led by Tom Cruise. And, uh, Tom Crew. And, like, yeah, like, so he has to, like, shoot and fight. And, the, the, like, halfway through the movie, it turns into a war movie.
Yes! Hell yeah. That was awesome. Can you do that in video games? Whoa. Bet you can't. Does the sand ever respawn? So say, you know, you just want to fuck around with the sand for like two hours. Can you do that? After you leave the floor, it resp respawns? Cool. why I wanted to do that. I just wanted to do that. You can yank the panels off the walls to add more. Well, it definitely adds more. Wow. Vinny, what's your favorite Buck Cherry song? <laughs> Probably the one. Words, man, in parentheses, we made them up. Exactly. Can I pass on that question? Can, can we just, like, move on next question? Oh, you have to actually go to the- oh. Luigi has to use his hands. You forget about that sometimes. Doesn't seem like Luigi would actually use his arms. Use your arms and then again, and then again, and then again. And then again, and then again, and then again, and then again. I don't know if these are real Egyptian artifacts. This could just be kitschy hotel shit that they bought from some shitty wow. store.
Oh, okay. I had more stuff up there that I wanted to do. Lou, you, you hear me? Lou, you hear me? The signal cut out there all of a sudden. What's wrong? You fell down in, this, in a sand pit! Ah, classic trap you'd find inside a pyramid. Luigi, you've got to find an escape route. Watch out for more traps. Bye-bye. That's helpful. Thanks, Egad. Luigi, you have to get out of there. How? Get out of there. Oh, okay. Could you imagine if you didn't have a vacuum? How annoying it would be to displace all the sand? You'd have to use your arms and then again, 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 and then again. I can make Captain Lou sound real distant. Like I have the the trick, the capat like vocal trick. I can show you. So it's like. Do the Mario! Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go! You know when he teleports? So, like, he, he, this is him teleporting. Come on, it's time to go! Do Mario! Eat your arms! And then again, come on, it's time to go! Do Mario! Da -da 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 I don't like sand. Then you just sound like Mario is constipated. Oh. There's- I forget who it was. It was Rob Dryden? Or Bryden? Some English comedian, uh, actor dude that can do a small man in, in a box voice. I was trying to do that skill. I was trying to use that skill. To make Mario sound distant. Then there's a video of that. Here it is. Why, you, f you found it? You heard Rob do his little man. Sorry, hang on a minute. Oh god, it's a t it's a chat show, so of course it's loud, and there's lots of clapping. You heard Rob do his little man trapped in a box voice. It is the best thing ever. Do you think I'm some sort of performing monkey? <laughs> Just be prodded to do his small man in a box voice whenever you... <clears throat> Okay. Uh, it, it, it wasn't bad. That was pretty good. It was better in my memory. But yeah, I mean, just type Rob Bryden, small man in a box. That's pretty good. Show more? I don't know if he does more of it. I, I didn't hear that. I don't like it in here, it's dark. I don't like it in here, it's dark. How the fuck does he do that? 
Looks like there's a door overhead. Maybe you can get back to the surface through there. Find a way to go through that door. Ha! I wonder if that's gonna get claimed. Probably will. If not now, then in four years from now. Uh, but yeah, that's, um... Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how he does it. That's amazing. Good for him. Where are you going? It gets the vacuum if it doesn't behave. Boy, that trick to do that uh, slam faster was the best thing I read in chat all night. Qu of course this would happen. Vinny, people have been telling you it for days. But, chat, I'm not absorbing every message. Like, I don't have, as I have as I said, the neural link doesn't work anymore. I'm not hooked up, I'm not a cybernetic life form. With the metal and the skeleton. So, you know, the chat doesn't go directly to my brainstem, so I miss a lot of messages. Even, like, helpful advice. And it's true that a streamer is more conditioned. Like, there's a streamer, um, rule. It's in the rule book where you have to see the shitty chat comments. You have to. Over the helpful ones. Everybody knows the rules. I mean, I'm sad I didn't see that advice uh, a couple days ago, because that would have been more helpful. I kind of just have to wonder what purpose this would serve in a hotel, this whole area. For fun? Okay. I'll buy that. One, two, three. It's like a theme park. Speaking of theme park, I still have to check out that Spongebob theme park. ...that they opened up in New Jersey. Too much? No idea if the sand is actually going to work. It, it appears to have worked a bit. Yeah! 
Barely. Ah. Oh. Of course, it would have to be something like this. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, I don't. Uh. Quickly, Luigi, quickly! Oh, yes! Nice. Luigiana Jones. Come on, no, that was a good joke. I like that joke. That was good. It was wordplay. I used one word, I made it into another word. Maybe moving all this sand all over the place didn't exactly help. And speaking of Luigiana Jones, there was an Indiana Jones episode of the Mario Brothers Super Show, which was then later included as a bonus feature and not a full episode, but it was weird because the main character, the main Indiana Jones dude was like like a parody and he was like a like an out of shape like weird dude with no face yeah his name was indiana joe and he had no face it was just a like a cartoon with no face it was weird i don't i don't know why that happened he was supposed to have a face but it was an error that's a hell of a fucking error The animators forgot to draw a face and just went with it because it was cool. <laughs> well, I forgot to have an entertaining stream, so I just went with it. Because it's cool. Speaking of Indiana Jones. What? Oh, some big, big puzzles in this room. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna stop here. I, I usually like to do an entire two floors or so per stream, but I'm gonna stop here because it's getting late, 
and I would like to do uh, some Dragon Quest before the night is over. So, to be continued in this area. I don't know why that happened, but uh, okay. Is it the ending to Dragon Quest XI? No, it's it's Act Two. It's like six hours into Act Two, so there's gonna be some big spoilers. That's why I say it is a mega spoiler stream. Uh, do not watch if you have any intention of playing Dragon Quest XI, which is another reason why I'm streaming it so late. So thank you for watching, and for those that don't want to be spoiled. Uh, Dragon Quest XI up next. And Luigi's Mansion will definitely be back early next week. Alright. So I know exactly what song I want to play for the BRB. So here it is.